I've just had Louisiana. So you could come from Louisiana. I'm also getting Louise and I'm getting Anna. So take that how it resonates. That could be your name or your location. That's what I'm getting here. Also here in the United States of America is significant. Yeah, so I definitely feel like spirits urging you to start to move forward from something that you've been through. Some sort of past relationship some sort of past prison that you're holding yourself bound to it's keeping you stuck from moving into an energy of love you may be someone who said you know i don't want anyone i don't want to be with anyone else after whatever it is you've experienced but i'm definitely feeling an urge like some sort of push here to stop yourself from self-sabotaging yourself that's what I'm getting here. So you may be in an energy of having to let go of something that happened to you so that you can move forward. Some sort of sacrifice needs to be made here. Some sort of positive change I'm hearing where you take a risk. I'm hearing a risk on love. I'm hearing a risk on yourself here. It's time to take a risk to make some sort of positive change in your life. So you could decide to, you know, revamp yourself. Some sort of makeover energy I'm picking up on here. You may want to go out and buy yourself some new clothes. I'm hearing lingerie is significant. I'm also picking up on an energy of, you know, a new hairdo, a new hairstyle, some colour, that's what I'm getting. Red could be significant. I'm also seeing like tattoos, like, you know, some sort of body art here, changing your look, your aesthetic. This could even be like tanning yourself, like self tan lotion I'm picking up, sunbed energy. Some sort of risk that you wouldn't really take usually. That's what I'm getting here, like some sort of, you know, outfit that could be you know, quite revealing, whereas you're someone who always wraps yourself up, you know, like making some sort of change in your look. I'm also seeing like makeup energy here, lashes are significant, red lipstick, you know, just completely changing your appearance. And I'm hearing what do you want to look like? Who do you aspire to be? Who are your inspirational people? Like this could be celebrity energy, people you look up to like queen energies, king energies, you know, just completely having an updo. That's what I'm picking up here. Changing your appearance, changing your look or, or going somewhere, somewhere that you've always wanted to go, somewhere that you haven't been before. Or maybe this could just be having a night out by yourself, you know, enjoying yourself as well. You may meet someone, that's what I'm picking up here. Someone that you didn't expect, because I see some surprise sort of shocking change. Like you're even gonna shock yourself, that's what I'm picking up here. I'm hearing like fake it till you make it energy here like making an effort until you feel like that is now you energy. So I definitely see you, you know, changing yourself. You have some sort of desire for love deep down within. There are different people out there, people you've never met. That's what I'm getting as well. People that will never treat you like a past person. Not everyone is the same I'm hearing. The number eight is significant, so you could keep seeing eights. You could be in your thirties, I'm seeing that as well. But I definitely feel like some sort of, you know, you need to like do something like ritualistically, like change your appearance, do some sort of beauty treatments. You know, make an effort with yourself, male or female, that you wouldn't usually do. This could be a new haircut, a new hairstyle. You know, whatever this is that you 
you know, need to release your energy doing. I'm also picking up on an energy of like partying. You may just need to release your energy, go out and dance, or you could, you know, join a gym and start sort of working out and enjoying yourself in that sort of way. Or maybe that's something you usually do and it's time to sort of change what you're doing and making yourself feel happy. Cause I'm getting like, you know, when you come out the gym and you've got that sort of gym buzz, that sort of high, that sort of vibe that I'm looking at here, something where you completely just let yourself free, let yourself go energy. I definitely feel like you're someone who's always sort of, you have like a routine and you stick to that routine and it may be getting a bit dry, a bit boring and it's time to sort of incorporate something else into your routine to change it, to make yourself happy again. This could even be like going to like a show, a circus, some sort of theatre I'm seeing here, something where you you know, you've always wanted to go, something you've looked at and thought, no, you know, I feel like you're going to meet someone special there, because I'm definitely seeing luck here, I'm seeing unicorn energy, you're being drawn to some sort of place, you may not have much money, but spirit's saying, you know, whatever you spend will come back to you, I'm hearing tenfold, I'm hearing a hundredfold, you need to take that risk on you. That's what I'm picking up here. Making some sort of effort, taking some sort of risk that you wouldn't usually take here. Because you're about to meet someone special, I mean, someone sacred. This could be a twin flame, a divine counterpart that you're being led to. Because I'm definitely seeing a happy sort of ending. It's like the happily ever after energy that I'm getting here. And I'm seeing like a wedding cake that is like in the distant future. I'm here in the near future as well. This is like you could meet someone just out of the blue in a place that you've never been before. And you end up marrying that person. I'm hearing on site, on site. So this person is definitely going to be at this venue, at this event, at this place. This person's going to be there and you wasn't expecting this or, you know, you wasn't expecting to bump into somebody here. This could be someone you've known in the past, but, you know, someone you didn't have that sort of flame for then who is now, you know, coming in as your divine counterpart, your twin flame. That's what I'm picking up on as well. I definitely feel like you're someone who has faith that one day you may meet someone, but you never sort of do anything different to meet that person. So I definitely feel like working on your confidence before you do that you know, working on your look, your aesthetic, something that you, you've you been holding back from doing. And you know, trusting and believing that you are right for somebody and someone out there is for you. That's what I'm hearing as well. Because I feel like, you know, just the old boring routine that, you know, isn't really sort of linking you to some new places or new people. It's like you put a lock on your heart and you're like, you know what, I'm not even interested in anyone again because somebody broke your heart before. You're just keeping that same energy alive. So I'm hearing risk it all. Take that leap of faith. You know, trust and believe that the person that you're looking for is, you know, I'm hearing a mile away, I'm hearing a stone throw away. It's just that you have to take that step. You know, go and walk on the beach, go and sort of explore the world, go and travel, 
go to sudden, you know, places that pop up in your mind because I see like a sudden shift and unexpected meeting with the person that you're meant to be with forever and this person is being drawn to the same sort of place the same sort of people the same sort of event as you are and you're going to meet that person there i see nothing but luck i see like robins like robin redbreast they're lucky aren't they so you're being drawn there i'm hearing the birds will take you i'm hearing follow the birds so birds could be significant this could be some sort of you know nature walk some sort of place where birds are or some sort of you know distant country where some sort of different sort of birds are this could be even like you know i'm seeing like snow i'm seeing sand this could be another country that's you know cold this could be a country that's hot you know whatever you feel drawn to and i feel like you know just asking god asking spirit to show you because something will pop up, it could pop up on your feed, you're scrolling through Instagram and you just see this sudden exotic place, this sudden sort of snowy sort of energy area and you know you're just drawn to that place that specific thing here because i definitely feel the energy of whatever's happened to you in the past you're sort of punishing yourself by not sort of wanting to move forward just being stuck or stagnant on what happened to you and it's time to change your mindset time to change your vibe time time to change your look time to be who you're supposed to be that's what i'm picking up here and the more sort of quality love that you put into your work on self here the more you're going to attract this person this this energy to yourself that's what i'm hearing for you so it's just a quick message that i'm picking up on here but spirit saying are you ready or get yourself ready that's what i'm picking up here get yourself ready for love because this person is looking for somebody just like you and it's time for you to step into that energy and become who you're supposed to be not who you once was that's what I'm getting for you okay so bye guys